The Stockbridge Bowl Association has created this video to show and explain to you the endangered condition of Stockbridge Bowl. In the Stockbridge Annual Report of 2004, the town selectman wrote, The future health of the lake is hanging in the balance. If we don't address these issues soon, the lake will decline and die. We, the SBA and the Stockbridge Selectmen, are asking you to join us in our campaign to save the lake. We need every one of you to make your neighbors aware of the lake's problems, to join us with your vote at town meetings, to write your state, local, and federal politicians and enlist their aid, and to help us raise the financial support needed to achieve our goal. For generations, Stockbridge Bowl has been an integral part of the quality of life in the Berkshires. The shimmering waters of the lake have inspired great writers, composers, and artists. In 1946, the Stockbridge Bowl Association was formed by concerned and far-sighted citizens who saw that the lake needed tending. Today it stands in appearance much as it always has, a glorious body attracting people to swim in its waters, glide upon its surface, and plumb its depths. But appearances are deceiving. Stockbridge Bowl is in trouble. Two centuries of development in its watershed, poor management of runoff, and buildup of silt at the inlet and the outlet channel are choking the lake. Silt and non-native weeds threaten fish, waterfowl, and other aquatic life along with boating and swimming. These threats to the lake have far-reaching consequences. The bowl is a vital part of the landscape for recreation and tourism in the Berkshires. If the lake dies, it will have a direct effect on the economy, quality of life, and environment of the Berkshires. Immediate attention is required to reverse the increasing damage created by man. For too long, this invaluable asset has been neglected and taken for granted. Action is needed, and it is needed now. The Stockbridge Bowl Association and the Selectmen proposed a dramatic plan to reverse the decline of the lake and to bring it back to vibrant health. At town meeting, the lake management plan was adopted by the residents of Stockbridge. The lake management plan has three coordinated phases, diversion drain, dredging, and drawdown. A diversion drain in the outlet was needed to get beneath the Tenneco gas lines and the town sewer line that impeded the outflow of water. At the cost of over $1 million, the construction of the drain was completed in four months of 2012. It was funded by the SBA and its donors, the Town of Stockbridge, grants from the Stockbridge Community Preservation Act, and a grant from the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection 319 Clean Water Act. With phase one completed, it is time to begin the next phase, dredging. The silt that has accumulated in the half century since the sewer and gas lines were installed must be removed. The depth of the lake has been reduced by over three feet in some areas. In dry seasons, this results in mud flats in some places. Thousands of cubic yards of silt cannot be sent downstream to clog the rivers. It must be removed. With the diversion drain in place, and once the dredging has removed much of the silt, the five and a half foot drawdown can occur. This will expose non-native shoreline weeds to a winter frost that will kill them. This 3D approach will restore the lake. Numerous studies reviewed by the Conservation Commission of Stockbridge, the Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program, and the Department of Environmental Protection have shown that the five and a half foot drawdown will not have an adverse effect on organisms in the lake. For decades, the Stockbridge Bowl Association has worked with the town of Stockbridge to protect and to preserve the lake. Although the lake is owned by the Commonwealth, its management is the responsibility of the town. Consistent with its original mission, the SBA has worked closely with the selectmen to build sensible policies for maintaining and monitoring the lake. The association volunteers thousands of hours to improve access, enhancing use among diverse groups, and has devised long-term plans to restore the health of the lake for today and tomorrow, and has raised funds to accomplish these measures. Stockbridge Bowl is a major recreational and economic resource to the region. The public boat ramp is used by thousands of boaters, fishermen, and water skiers each year. The annual Josh Billings Triathlon brings 500 watercraft to the lake as the center of a regional event. Tanglewood, a world-renowned outdoor classical music festival, features scenes of Stockbridge Bowl in its programs, and Camp Mackinac on the lake provides children, both local and from afar, a summer of delight. With the diversion drain phase of the lake management plan finished, it is now time to complete the project by removing the silt that has built up over the years in many parts of the lake. The cost of the dredging will be substantial. We have begun to raise the necessary funds for that project in the same way we did for the diversion drain phase. We will ask individuals and businesses, obtain grants from private and public sources, 
and seek continued support from the town of Stockbridge. We must not allow Stockbridge Bowl, our jewel of the lake, to be silted in and weed infested. The time has come to complete this project.